will be competing in a series of challenges, except there's a twist. Everything is mini. From cooking to art, let's see who can survive the world's tiniest day. Thanks to Foodie Mini Brands for sponsoring this video. For the first challenge, we will be competing in the world's tiniest triathlon. Starting with a car, to a bike, to a skateboard. Loser gets eliminated. Go! I get an advantage! What could I say? Ah! Oh my gosh, my legs are short! Ah! Oh man! Oh man! You're going down free! I can't stop laughing! Ow! I don't know how to skateboard! Ah! Yes! Oh, second! Oh, second, baby! Yes! No! Looks like Logan is the first loser of the oh. tiny challenge, but bring him back! We need him to stick around for the next challenge! For the next challenge, each player gets three foodie mini brands to unbox, unwrap, peel, and reveal. Inside each are five mini surprises, and whoever gets the most rare item will get an extra life. Go! Yes! yes. I was in the danger zone just now. Brittany, go! <laughs> Oh, gosh. These foodie mini brands feature all new iconic brands like Carl's Jr., Subway, and even Sonic. There are over 60 cool minis to collect, including the most rare, the Frozen Moments minis, which is what these guys are trying to find right now. Frozen Moments minis are ultra rare, and they're literally moments frozen in time, like this burger being pulled apart. How's it going, guys? Did you find anything rare? I got I miso got soup. Oh, cute! I got so cute. That's, That's adorable. So cute. Look how each one is a perfect replica, even down to the packaging. These are so crazy how real they look. Ray, look what I found in mine. Look, they all fit in there. Oh, yeah. You can also collect mini accessories, which is perfect for a mini fast food world. Like this, for example, a soda dispenser, ketchup dispenser. There's tons of options, and they're super cute. This is exciting. Oh, I got a gold, I got a gold! No oh my god, way. awesome! Oh my gosh, they're so super cool! So rare! Wow, I'm jealous. I got a menu? Oh, what? that's cool! Look how realistic each one of these look, even down to the packaging. It's crazy how real these look. Wait! <gasps> no way! Wait, is that the rare look, one? Look, I got a Stop. rose moment. This is the rarest one. It looks like Scott is the winner, and not only an extra life, you get to keep that ultra rare frozen mini. <laughs> Isn't it cute? No, you can't have it. On to the next challenge. No. Okay, for this challenge, we have to use tiny art supplies to create a jumbo shrimp. We have five minutes starting now. This is impossible. This is not easy. This uh -huh. is easily, easily be accomplished. I am a professional <laughs> shrimp artist. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm just saying, any competitive show I ever see, if somebody gives up early and doesn't continue to work, they are out. You're, you're not tiny handing writing. down there. Okay, I'm okay. Writing. Just wanted to clarify that. Logan will actually be the judge, mm -hmm. and he's going to replace whoever loses this challenge and come back into the game. Oh, what? So, the pressure is on. Wait, I made him cute, now I'm gonna feel bad next time I eat a shrimp. Come on, time's starting. I love him. We're counting down. Five, uh, no, four, no, no, I three, need more detail. Two, no. one, all right, time's up, time's up. What do we got here, explain. Okay, so, obviously a jumbo shrimp. Overall, I think you did a pretty good job, Scott. So I wanted to go the more minimalist, but with like a broke presentation. Hi. This is Sheldon, he's different. <laughs> Brie, yeah. I think the only advantage you have right now is that you're a fellow lefty. Hello, this is Jimmy the Shrimp. Ooh, okay. As you can see. I really like yours. <laughs> Already, you know, I'm a sucker for a suck up. And we got Logan is number one. Right now, my number one and safe from elimination is Brittany. Whoa. Gotta be Brittany. I love the suck up. No, 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 keep it down. Now it's time for the bottom two. The ones that should be scared to be eliminated and are on the chopping block. First, Keely. Second, on my chopping block, Brie. And because this is ZHD's challenge, I don't think you would be too proud of your art, Brie. And for that, we're gonna have to eliminate you. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, Bye, no, Brie, 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 no, no! I hope you guys like cooking. You guys must make a mini pizza using mini utensils, and this better be amazing. Like, 
ratatouille level. Why are you, what, what are you doing with that? You guys have five minutes to make a pizza starting now. And obviously guys, because Logan said I lost the last challenge, he's replaced me and now I'm your fabulous host. Scott has like a good technique going. He's very detail oriented. It's looking great. Brittany, I know is a good chef. So I, I think she could do really well in this challenge. Logan. Okay guys, so I'm like super excited. I'm not judging this one. We have a rat outside. That's why I said use your ratatouille skills. We're going to place the pizza in front of the rat and whichever one he goes to, or she, he, she, that person will win. Keely did like a design in her cheese. Wow. I had to make it pretty. I had to make it pretty. That's, that's wonderful. Impressed. Impressed. This is my cheese that was extra. Oh. I'm, I'm making cheese hors d'oeuvres. Appetizers. Extra Cheesy points. bites. Cheesy bites with mozzarella sauce. I would say that that's an extra point, but we'll see what the rat says. <sighs> All right. Everybody's pizza is in the oven. Let's close her up and wait. How long does a pizza cook for? Be careful, be careful. Oh, they're looking good. Ooh, mine is ready. All right, all right, I'm gonna step out of the way. All right, so I'm allowing them to take things out of the oven because I often burn myself. Um, I'm very accident prone, so I would like to not be in charge of that. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody bring your pizzas outside and meet our judge. Oh, and thank you to Kidania for letting us film here. Remember I said bring your ratatouille skills. This is why, this is our buddy here. A rat is going to judge this challenge. Now I would like each of you to place your pizza somewhere in the maze in whichever pizza that he goes to will be the winner of this challenge. Gary, are you ready for some pizza? All right, it's time to place our judge in the maze. There we go. All right, now I have no idea where the rat's going to go. He hasn't been on camera before. Only his wife or sister, I don't know which one. So he may be a little nervous. He has to get acclimated to the environment. Everybody's like hovering over him and saying to come towards them. I think he's just going to be scared. It's like a baby, you know, whenever they first start crawling, they're like, come over here, come over here. Yeah, it's like, no lady, I don't want to go towards you. <laughs> oh, he's going through the maze. Did he go to yours? Oh my gosh. We have tiny phones. Look how cute they are. The person who calls someone and doesn't have someone pick up. What is that? What? Yeah, so, so you want somebody to pick up the phone. Also, Keely, since you won the last challenge, you can choose a number the other players cannot use when they dial. Number? Yeah. The number two. You cannot dial anybody that has a two in their phone oh, number. Yes! I sound like a okay, hey mom. Chase got his mom to answer. I think Keely got somebody to answer. Hey, oh, Stephen Bo? Stephen Bo? Oh, he picked up! Brittany, did you get me? I did, yes! <laughs> grandma, I need you to pick up, please. Oh, <gasps> your grandma won't pick up? I don't know. I think she's I sleeping at this time. All right, so I have an announcement. Here. What? what are you? Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yes. No, it's the phone. So Logan's out. My grandma didn't pick up. I know. That's She's really sad. probably taking her morning nap or something. Yeah. I don't know. Before you leave, would you like to tell anybody anything? It is time to bring some luck into the challenges. You guys have mini golf courses. They're so cute. You want to be the one to get a hole in one first, and just so you know, there is a pretty big advantage if you do this. You guys can go ahead and start. All right, here we here go. go. I don't know who I expect to win, honestly. I could see Scott winning, honestly. Brittany, I think, could do it. I think Brittany might be able to. <gasps> not yet. Oh! Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Not yet. Oh, Keely was close. <gasps> oh! I got it! Did she? Keely, you get to choose two players to go head to head in the next elimination challenge. You get to go through and whoever you don't choose as well. Ooh, uh, this is a hard one. I feel like it's only right that I choose Chase and Scott to go no. head to head. That's what I would have done too. <laughs> All right, it's on to the next elimination challenge. We have to see who can bowl a strike on this tiny mini bowling alley 
first. And now remember, this is an elimination challenge, so one of these guys is going home without the mini trophy. <laughs> you ready, Bree? You've got it, Scott, yes. I'm ready. Oh, oh, one pin! I believe that's what's called a spare. Fun fact, I almost didn't graduate high school because online bowling, so I got this. I hope that's not true. That's embarrassing, Chase. Oh! Yes! Yes! That is the face of pure disappointment. Now, can we also talk about Keely technically got Scott eliminated because yes. you chose these two to compete in the dead challenge. So that means Keely, Brittany, Chase, they're still in the winning for having the best, tiniest day. It's time for a mini video game challenge. We have to do a relay race and be the first person to complete all the games. Now you start with Pac-Man. All you have to do with this one is beat the first level. Easy. I think y'all got it, Easy. okay? On your mark, get set, go. Let's do it. Start, baby. Going down, it's Keely. So cute. I know, it's so I'm small. I love it. Who do you think's gonna win? Or Thank you. Yeah. Keely was kind of flexing her Pac Man skills before. Yeah, she was oh, saying God. she's the best. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I have no idea. Done, right. baby. Are you kidding me? before you I move have, on. Really? Keely is so far ahead right got now. It, got okay, it, got it. Let's move on. Oh, Chase I'm is coming. moving over. Oh no, I gotta, I gotta beat him. All right. Okay, get out of here, Chase, down. get out of here, Chase. No. Okay, so this is mini pinball. You must get 50,000 points to move on. This one is extra tiny. Oh no, I just lost. How do I start it? Oh, there this we go. One is tiny, Keely, tiny. you're going down. I am good at this one. I'm not good at this one. This. Oh, look at that, look I'm at that. I'm gonna end uh -huh. Keely's whole career. 100,000 points, I got no, the extra points. What? All right. Oh, you, wait, what is, wait, where are we playing? why are you here? This is a game of Pong. You just have to win against the computer. It's actually a little start. Oh, oh wait, this I just, computer is I just won. Woo! Yes! yes! So what this means is Chase moves on to the next level. Keely must now battle Brittany. And whoever wins that will be on to the final level. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Yeah. All right, who's, wait, who's in the lead? What's going on here? Brittany okay. has focus face. <laughs> I do. I, I look so all right, Keely's in the lead. Keely oh, is in an advantage. She already got to practice. I know. That's what Brittany said. But that Brittany is just powerful. Me. Brittany, yeah. she's got the moxie. <laughs> oh, no, I died. No, I died. Oh, no. no. Restart it. Restart it. Don't give I'm up. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Keely's, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> At the same time? <laughs> All right. All right, who's the better pinballer? Is it on? Oh, oh gosh. So, okay, Keely, oh, no. Keely's gonna win this. I know, she's I, it's different, but it's mini. Brittany has no oh. idea what's going on. Wait, hold on. I have some ideas. <laughs> oh, I just got 10K oh. points. All right, she's at 10K. We, how many? 50,000? 50,000. Oh, oh, no. Mom, no. 30K. Oh, okay. 100K. Yes. 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 What? Okay, you have to get to 50K to move on. Okay, she's close. All right, Ooh, Brittany, I know Pong came out whenever you're a kid, all right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Brittany has an advantage because she helped invent this game. Yeah, you're, that was like a really old game. See what I mean? <laughs> no way! We need to give Keely a tiny, tiny boo. transition. All right, welcome to the last and final challenge. One of these guys has to win. So for the last challenge, it's a fight to the death. What? <laughs> Wait. I have Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Get in your battle stances up here. Okay. Starting with round one. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, I feel like you're actually gonna punch me. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, got it. All right. Chase won round I have one. A faulty... Round two. Let's go. Come on. All right. All right. On. Put him up. Put him up. No, I'm not putting up anything with you. you no. Stop it. Go, go, get it. No. No. <laughs> no. Come on, dude. Now, guys, you only have one round separating you from the winner of Tiny Day Survivor and a Hi. tiny trophy. Go. Are you ready? All right. All right. Make the first move. Come on. <gasps> yeah. Oh, you don't All deserve right. a headband. <laughs> Chase, you survived the world's tiniest day. Brittany, I'm sorry. It's time to serenade you with the world's smallest violin. <laughs>